it's a solution, but then I can't do this with my hot bar. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the f is that? What is that? I don't know if I want to talk about this right now or wait until later in stream, because this is going to take a minute to discuss. So this is a fully cut down version of the hour long discussion we had on stream about the inventory system at FF14 in response to a comment I received on a previous video I had posted. The comment made a lot of good points and I just wanted to go over those points and how I disagree with them, where I disagree with them, and really flesh out my opinion on the inventory system more than I did in my original five minute video. If you want to see the full discussion, I will link to it in the description and in the top pinned comment. If you want to see the original five minute video, it should be popped up on screen right now in a card, but I hope you enjoy if the bite size version is what you want. Have a good day. The real question is, why are you carrying around so much dye? I don't understand why people just stack their bags filled to the brim with junk you probably aren't going to use. We have more than enough inventory space. Even if we got more, people would just fill it up and not bother actually taking the time to organize and get rid of stuff you will never need. We have a chocobo bag. We have two retainers with the equivalent of five bags each that are free. Four bags, crystal bag, armor chest, glamour chests. We have another bag for every type of armor piece and weapons. You don't need that much room. So I don't understand why people are having problems. Redoing the inventory isn't going to do crap. People who are having problems are the ones that need to reevaluate. With the two free retainers, our bags, and Chocobo Saddle Bag, that's 560 spots. That isn't even counting slots that we have in Glamour and Armor Chest. Why in the world do you need so much space? Then we have even more space with Armor, ch armor Chest. I'm assuming when he says Armor Chest here, he's referring to the Armoire. I'm assuming he's referring to Armoire which is another 400 plus spots for armor, accessories, and weapons. Why don't we have as many slots? Or we don't even have as many slots as there are jobs for each one. Here's what we have. These are the inventories we have available as a player. We have our main inventory. That's 140 slots, which is this, over four boxes or panes is what I'll call them. We have the Chocobo saddlebag. 70 slots over two panes. Hi gamers. Hey, on night. I hope your day's going well. We have the armory chest, which is here. We have a segment for weapons, head, chest, hands, legs, feet, offhand, ears, neck, wrists, and then our rings. These are all separate inventories, but I, I want to emphasize a nuance here, which is each of these is for a specific item type. And this is a theme that occurs throughout this UI's design. Aside from the armory chest, we have key items and crystals. There's 105 slots here. I have never had more than two of these rows filled with items. I don't know anybody that has. I don't know anyone that's walking around with 30 at, at most key items. I don't know who's running around with these things. Let's keep going down the list real quick. What other inventories do we have? We have a fashion accessory inventory that is for now at least an umbrella box. Doesn't hold anything but umbrellas. We're gonna come back to fashion accessories in a moment. The bait and tackle box that only is visible if you're a if you're playing as a fisherman is not its own inventory. It actually mirrors what's in your inventory over here. So you still have to take up precious inventory space to fill up your bait and tackle box. The only thing this facilitates your ability to select the bait you want. You cannot right click over here in your main inventory and select use as bait, but you still have to have it in your inventory or it doesn't go in the bait and tackle box. We'll get to the glam dresser. I have complaints about this too. So we have 175 slots for retainer. We have each pane is, uh, what did I say these were, 35? 30, whatever. We have four panes plus one, then crystal storage. So it's literally your inventory plus one and crystal. Okay, that's cool. However, this is where we get into the issue that people seem to ignore. When I'm crafting, what the hell am I supposed to do with everything I need? to craft because there's nowhere to put it. And this is for one job. There's a lot. 
You have carpenters, blacksmiths, armorers, goldsmiths, leather workers, weavers, alchemists, culinary, and miners, botanists. It's unoptimal. It doesn't make sense. It's not a well thought out inventory system. And if you're over here crafting carpentry or crafting, leveling carpentry and alchemy, you have different stuff on you. And the only options, if you're collecting armor like I am and you're collecting other things and not all of it, you want to glam. I don't want to like all of this in my glam dresser is stuff that I do want to keep because I thought it looked cool. This is stuff I'm never going to physically wear. This is stuff that will get glammed onto outfits as I just think about it. All of this stays in here. But I have armor that I don't want to get rid of that I want to keep on me that stays in here. And the reason it stays in here comes back to another problem with the inventory. The glam plate system. Sometimes I want to wear this. Sometimes I want to wear this little flower piece, which is right now glam to look like a bow. I need to carry it on me. I have to have this, which means it's taking up a spot. I can't add it to a glamour plate because I can't apply multiple glamour plates on each, onto my character. So it turns out that you actually can apply multiple plates to a character. We found that out shortly after the stream, I think the next day, whenever Shad and I were playing and I asked him to try it for me. However, this still doesn't fix my core hang up with the inventory system and the glamour system by extension because I'm not going to sacrifice one of 20 plates so I can have one earring. It's much more efficient to just carry the earring in my armory chest or in my inventory. Now, the cool way to do this would be to give us 100 glamour plates and, you know, let us self-regulate how we sort them, kind of how I do with my main inventory. So if you look at my main inventory, at the top right, I have party favors, I have my confetti, I have my my sparklers i have fireworks i have the wine i have fun items to just play with when i'm with friends bottom left because i go fishing at random times with zero thought put into it all the shit i'm gonna need to fish just period i have all the lures i have everything that i would need to catch any fish that i need at my level and below i carry it on me because sometimes i go do my fishing log and it's usually when i'm in the middle of nowhere i'm out in the middle of the black shroud or i'm out in the middle of western core of this highlands and i'm doing a quest or something with someone and i'm like i, I want to go fish real quick what do i have in my log for this area so i go to the thing and i fish and then i get done and continue my quest i don't want to have to warp back to limsa go to my inn or go to my retainer dig into the inventory get out the three things i need then close it teleport back to highlands then go back to the lake. I'd rather just walk to the lake and start fishing. But I am sacrificing an entire block of my storage for that convenience. If anyone has focused on multiple aspects of FF14 at once, you know how fast this stuff fills up. This is gone in in an hour. <laughs> the way I think we, FF could feel better to play in regards to collecting armor collecting items collecting whatever you want give us a die bag this is a this is not an item that should be taking up inventory space this should be a bonus item that doesn't affect your mainline storage party favors these things should not be taking up inventory space i'm sorry me wanting to do this should not take up inventory space this should be a separate thing these should be their own inventory full stop we should have a bag that just holds these. And I don't I don't care. Just call it the event items bag. Call it that. We, we've come back to the glamour dresser now. I don't want this leaving the inn. I'm not going to be one of those obnoxious people that doesn't recognize why this being in the inn is a good thing and why the armoire being here is a good thing. Because you need a reason for the player to come to this room. And there's there's a lot to do in here. There's not a, like a lot, lot, but there's a lot of little fun things. One of the big ones is orchestration rolls and people buy these because if if you're in your inn you can come in here and let's like let's say you just finished um is it Stor uh heaven's word and you just got the dragon song orchestration roll and you just want to listen to it there's the unending journey you want to go rewatch cutscenes. you want to make sure the player knows that this stuff is here so if i'm i, I 
if I'm in, if I'm on the moon and I get new stuff, why do I have to come all the way back here to get the shit out of my inventory? If I'm on the moon, I should not have to leave the moon to get rid of a shirt that I, A, know I want to keep and B, a shirt that I don't need on me right now because I'm in the middle of questing and my inventory is getting full. I would make the glam dresser remote deposit. So you still need to come here if you want to make glam plates or adjust a glamour plate, whatever. But to access it for deposit purposes only, just do it everywhere. Just let me access it. And you could you could in, include it into a feature that I've been thinking of, which is, uh, let me pull something out of my armory chest real quick. Like, let's say the glacial coat. Let's say I don't want it for armor, but I want it for glam. I right click mark for glamour and then I get a prompt that's, that says do you want to deposit this into the glam dresser and I can say yes and it just sends it off to the glam dresser and then when I get back to my inn when I get back from my little adventure it's waiting for me you could do a similar thing on top of that of what's something I don't need that I have on me right now that I know I can get rid of uh, it's probably a weapon I probably don't need the deep gold knuckles anymore, I'm assuming. Well, they're they're glammed, whatever. Uh, let's take the saw. We need a mark for sale button. Because right now, the way I mark things for, oh, I need to get rid of them, they go down here. I, I just go, okay, this gets sold, this gets sold, this gets sold, and this gets sold. And that's a good band-aid. But when my inventory is filled, it's it's not a good band-aid. There is some kind of technical debt that comes with being a PS3 game, even from 1.0. It's why players joke that FF14 has spaghetti code. Oh, no, I get that. Like I was talking to a Shad about this on his stream. And my theory about this being a mirror is due to memory limitations. Because th this this isn't real. This isn't a real inventory. It doesn't behave like a real inventory. You can't even right click these things. It exists just to facilitate the clicking and switching of bait that you're using. That's all it does. But if I, let's say I split this, let's say I take 10 silkworms up here. It still says I have 99, but if I discard these 10, it's just a mirror. It, it drops to 89 and I'm sure that's obvious to most people, but for anyone who, who's, a, who's more visually inclined to understand what I'm talking about, this is nothing more than a visual reference to this. They take everything that's present that has this item classification that would fall under bait and tackle, and they put it in here. At this point though, do we really still need it like this? Does it still need to be this? I, I'm sorry. FF14 makes so much money. I I don't buy it. I do not buy that they cannot make a bait and tackle inventory so that I free up this entire block of my UI. I don't buy it. I do not buy it. Dontrell is coming up next year and we have a graphical overhaul coming. Why are we not pushing some real quality of life improvements to the game because they did a half step and this half step drives me mad. I don't even know how, I don't know if it's Aeon. I don't know if you know this is in the game or not, or if it is yet. They talked about how you can access the glamor dresser from your inn without going up to the glam dresser. And I don't remember how that worked. I don't remember if it was an inventory thing you could do or if it's a UI button you need to click. But I remember they said Glamour Dresser and Armoire could be accessed from anywhere within the inn or something. It was a weird limitation that was on it. Okay, so I'm not crazy. They actually did add this feature. In the inn room, when you walk in, you can access the crystal bell from where you're standing. You can reach the summoning bell, but you cannot reach the Glam Dresser or the Armoire. So... 
you can now go into your inventory well your character screen cast a glamour and actually select from the glam dresser and armoire i i don't understand the point of this because there are some in rooms that you go into and you can't reach the crystal bell and the summoning bell at the same time so you still have to walk over to one of them which means you still like need to walk so you're not eliminating that you're still there's still travel time in the in room for some of these which doesn't make any sense to me but this is only accessible in an in room you can't even access it in the grand company barracks so if we go back outside and we try to access it from out here you get this you, you get you get that and you you I, I don't get it. I, I do not understand who this is for. I don't think the complaint was, guys, it's really, really annoying to have to walk around the end room. It's really annoying. It takes so much time to walk over to the clam dresser after we've walked all the way to the end room. Who is this for? I don't understand. What? Regardless, back to the video. This is like three weeks later. I was about to upload this and then I found this last night. So I wanted to add this in, but if you made it this far, I hope you enjoy the rest. My, my cynical theory that I I'm confident is the real reason is if we go to FF's website right now, we go to the retainer service tab. So retainer duties, storage item up to 175 types, elemental shards, crystals, and gill. Sell of unneeded inventory items on the market, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Is there an additional fee associated with retainer service? Additional fee is required only if you wish to hire retainers beyond the two included with your description, with your subscription. $2 a month for one retainer. So if you want 175 extra inventory slots, you have to pay for it. They are very much disincentivized from fixing this. Yeah, here, here's the, here's the cliff notes. I, we need a die bag. We need a die bag that stays on the player. We need a tackle. What is up with my hand track? We need a tackle box that stays on the player. We need a crafting material inventory. Again, that stays on the player as a separate thing. And we need a party favor inventory that again stays on the player. We need a mark for glamour and a mark for sell. I think that's all the game needs because the issue is we have all these inventories but they're again they're not logically laid out they don't work the way that they should oh it's another box for you to throw shit in i'm tired of boxes to throw shit in i'm tired of boxes that exist in a specific geographical location that i need to throw shit in that i don't want to have to interrupt my flow in the game to walk to where do i put my fucking food and before someone's like will you eat it i don't want to fucking eat it i don't want to eat it yet i want to keep it because I'm going to eat it when I'm running content with friends. I'm going to eat it when I'm like, I can use it. If I missed anybody's message, uh, please tell me and I'll cover it again. You make some good points. There could be more Q and A or Q, Q and A. QOL. Yeah. Like die bag. That's not a bad idea. I don't think it is. I don't think it's an egregious ask either. What's the harm of me having these? Why do we not get a die bag? But we get a hundred and 50 key item slots that nobody's using. So I don't want to hear a goddamn thing about, well, it's a memory restriction. Why are we reserving memory for 150 key items when you're never going to have 150 key items on you? No one's going to have 150 key items on you. I, I don't buy that anybody would. The reason I don't buy it is because the most quests you can have active is 30. So what else is going to go here? Because... I, there's only there's a, there's not a hundred Chloe's for you to get wondrous tells from, so you're not gonna end up with thirty of these. You're gonna get one book of Skywind. You can only have one of these books as at one time when you're doing your Atma weapons, so that's that's one guaranteed slot. These are quest items. These four. These are exclusively quest items that I haven't done yet that are part of that thirty count. Why don't we cut two of these off instead of hundred and five slots? You get 35 key item slots and here's your die bag right here and here's your your fish and tackle i'm gonna cut this up and make another video if you're hearing this 
and you have a good reason to not do this, tell me, leave a comment, explain to me why we need this many key item slots. Because as someone who is neck deep in Boja, as someone who's neck deep in, deep, deep in Eden, as someone who's neck deep in at least, at least pre shadow bringers nonsense. I'm not using most of these slots.